Howdy, welcome back. I'm sorry about the acne, maskne. Working on it, but you know how it does its own. Okay, what do you think? Come on, leave some comments. Okay, if you can't tell by the title of today's video, we're going to look at the Jeffree Star Deluxe mystery box that he had for this winter. But first, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe. Then like, either or, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Also, leave comments. The whole point of this channel is for me to talk to people about makeup. I enjoy discussing makeup. I mean, it sounds silly, but I don't have a lot of people to discuss it with. And I'm actually really enjoying the discussions I do get on this. Like, I try to respond as soon as I see it, but because of my wonky work schedule, I don't get as much time to respond as I would really like or as consistent as I'd like. It's usually whenever I have to be conscious and on a break, because work is like a 10 hour shift plus lunch, so it's 11 hours, and then the sleep, and then we restart. I feel like I'm not getting a lot done in my day without this these days. Like, ugh, work is just, ugh. Whatever. This was our deluxe winter mystery box. Now this retailed for I think 120, but it had, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects in the deluxe. Now, I would have liked to have ordered the Supreme, but they sold out real fast. And if any of you have been watching some of my videos, you know that one of my few exceptions to my low buy slash no buy is if there another set of mystery boxes comes out by Jeffree Star, because he does seem to do some around Valentine's Day. So there's that. I will definitely jump on that one. Um... Let's take a look at what we got. I like mystery boxes. This is only like my third one I've ever done because it gives you an opportunity to try stuff you would not usually buy, if that makes sense. Like um, when I bought Charlotte Tilbury, the mystery box from her, I had never tried some of the things they had in there for it. Like I was just, sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to line up the way I want it. And it's just, it's, it's fighting me like a beast. Um, Things I would not usually have purchased, like some of them were skincare things. I was like, eh, I would never have paid for that, but if it's part of a mystery box, I'll give it a whirl. Or like, one, the one time I ordered a mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury, I got one of her discontinued colors in her Color Chameleons. And if you guys have ever watched some of my videos, I love her Color Chameleons. They stick, they stay. It's actually a short amount of time it takes to apply it. It's real easy to apply. If you have a kid, seriously, it's like quick, streamlined, pff, eye makeup's done, rock out mount. And it was one of her more, um, Better received ones, Mesmerizing Mink, if that makes sense. It's almost like a silvery color. It's really pretty. Would never have been able to get a hold of it otherwise. But Jeffree Star's boxes. Um, I know this one was seven. I want to say the Supreme was nine or 11 items. It's all odd numbers. And then his mini was like three. For what I got, it was definitely worth the money, if that makes sense. First off, I got a shirt. This would be the one thing in each mystery box that is like this, that is just for this mystery box. It only comes out for this mystery box. It's a long sleeve t-shirt, which actually I'll probably wear to work with the candy coloring in pinks and blues. And the snow, snowflake on the back with the company logo on the back and on the front. This is something I can actually wear at work, like beneath my stuff. It doesn't actually have writing on it, so I can wear it. It's totally acceptable by work uniform. So I actually, this one I'm kind of, I can absolutely wear. <coughs> mm. Sorry, I'm having reflux right now. And it comes out sounding like that. It always has. I got excited and euros and get myself heartburn. You think as an adult I would know better? Nope. Nope, you can only resist things so long. And then you can then have the one euros have heartburn for two days. And then you don't have another one again for like months. <clears throat> kind of like really good salsa or chili. Okay, the next object in here is, this looks like Velour Lip Liner. Okay, let's do that. His boxes are definitely designed not to let anything slam around. Like, they're designed to hold it uh, so that it doesn't get destroyed. I have to give them credit for that. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. I've never actually seen his lip liners in person. Huh. Nice. It's like a pinky nude. And his color is Gemini. Hmm. I have, I'm in the process of trying to purchase something to put my makeup in. Like I have sorting baskets for my makeup that I wear, but I realized I have some in my linen closet so it's not exposed to moisture so I can apply in the bathroom. I have some on my husband's dresser. I have some in this thing down here. Like it's um, uh, a, a drawer set next to the bed. I have some that's up. I'm trying to get it all put in one spot and go through it. <clears throat> Like, not necessarily throw it away, but at the very least, organized. Ooh, okay, we got the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Unicorn. Unicorn Blood. Hey, I've heard about this color. Oh, come on, fingers. Don't fight me, bro. Don't fight me. Ooh. This is supposed to be one of the more famous colors from his collection. What else we got in here? Hold on. Let's give it a whirl. What the heck? Okay, I'm not good at outlining my lips. We have all learned this. Mm. I'm better with Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's because I'm used to that one better. The formula's a little different. I can feel the difference of the formula. Let's do a cute little swatch of unicorn blood. Ooh, that is, that is dark. Ooh. That is a lot darker than I would have ever thought. And this is definitely like a red, like a red, red. I want to say like a rusty red, if that makes sense. That is a lot darker than I would usually wear. Like I could see this one for full glam, like smoked eyes. And there's our sampler. We've got Gemini as, an eye as a lip liner and unicorn blood. I'm curious to know where the heck some of these names come from, honestly. Okay, the next object we got is another gloss called Mouthful. Mm. Let's see if I can get into it. The top, the top makes it very hard unless you go a certain way. This one is like a cute pink pearlized color. Like I'm gonna guess this was part of the Orgy collection. It was definitely a cute pinky nude.
Like I've never been real clear on the point of putting the gloss over the lipstick. I kind of get it now. I mean, if you're buying something that is like um, a matte and you want that color but glossy, I guess that's a way to go. I think I would just be the type that would track it down almost as a gloss already, if that makes sense, because I'm not a fan of lip gloss. And Unicorn Blood stains the applicator dough for the gloss. So clearly this is not one that was meant to be used with the other. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's that. Where is my makeup remover? Cause I'm going to have to take this off. I can tell already. This feels a little too vampy for me tonight. So what are you guys doing? Did you guys do any of the mystery boxes? Look at this. The gloss makes the lipstick come off on your teeth. Yeah, would not probably pair these two together. Just because it seems to make it a little bit more liquidy and fluid. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I have been tempted to break my no buy already, my low buy no buy. Charlotte Tilbury came out with three lipsticks for a uh, the Chinese New Year. It's the red ones, the Lunar New Year. Have you want to phrase it? And the colors were pretty, but I kind of had to stop myself because I was like, what's the point? I mean, yeah, they're beautiful. You just can't wear them with your mask and I don't go a lot of places not maskable. So, pardon. So I didn't see a point in putting out what Honestly, it's not a cheap lipstick. Putting out on something that I couldn't actually purchase or wear. And then to sweeten the pot, they were running a special of, if you spend like $95, I think it was, you got um, a free airbrush flawless filter foundation. Which if anybody follows Charlotte Tilbury, that is $45 foundation. I was like, oh, because I really wanted to try out the foundation. I have a hard time finding my color, but they have a new shade finder. I was like, never mind. Okay, next object. Ooh, this is the new lipstick he launched this last year. Velvet Trap Lipstick. Okay, I kind of like the box, I'm not gonna lie. And this is the, this is actually a really hip case. And then, I don't know if the camera is picking this up really well. Like the texture of the lipstick itself looks like matte velvet. And you've got the logo all over it. Ooh, watermelon soda. This actually reminds me of a color of Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I have. I like this color. I want to say it's called Cerisi Cherry. It was on her original matte lipstick collection. No, her, um, it was like her celebrity lipstick collection, the very first one she put out. Ooh, okay. We got this. This is like a faux leather. It's nice, it's heavy. It is the liquid lipsticks from her from the Conspiracy Collection, from Jeffree Star's Conspiracy Collection. We've got Shane, which is like a brown metallic. Oh my God, which is, I love this pink actually. Jeffree, what the? It's got the actual F word on it. 
I'm liking how vibrant this is. I'm not gonna try all these on because I don't think my mouth is gonna survive that. We got I gotta go, which is a like a bronzy metallic gold color. We got Rylant, which is a, like a metallic pink, which I'm looking forward to trying out. And then Are You Filming? Which is it's a pretty red. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda reminds me of a sunset red. I don't know what I mean. Okay, the packaging is cute. I just don't know how I'm going to store something this big and awkward. Like, oh. I'm liking this color. Like, watermelon soda. Yeah, I like this color. And listen to this, check this out. Check this out. It's magnetic. It's very heavy, but it's a pretty strong magnet, actually. I'm liking this color. Not certain how I feel about this color, but I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I think it's just because it's so outside of my norm and all of the people I know are just like, oh my God, you actually, actually colored your hair. Cause I'm, I've always kind of hesitant to pull the trigger on that. Cause even the semi-permanent stuff, if you're blonde enough, it becomes permanent. And I am blonde enough, so. Okay, and here is the last object of our seven. The full palette, the Orgy palette. I am not monetized, so I can say that as many times as I want. The Orgy palette. This was his nudes palette he put out this last fall, I want to say. I had been eyeing this one because I'm not necessarily certain I would really want to see a naked Jeffree Star posing on things, but you know, it's his packaging, not mine. There we go. Let's take off the plastic piece that gets in the way. I have been kind of looking at this one for a little bit now, since I tried out his other palette, like the cremated one. And I wasn't certain I wanted to put out money on this, honestly. Like, I love the sheer different number of tones. Some of the titles were a little explicit, but I guess that's a given with Jeffree Star. Um, but a lot of the bottom ones are a little too dark for me. Like I could never quite pull off some of these super dark colors like this one. It's, it's a straight up black and I don't, I almost never wear black just because as pale as I am, it kind of makes me look like death warmed over. But I'll give this a whirl. What the heck? It is, let's try I'm Shy. It is the new formula. Oh my God, that is so soft. This might actually be a matte nude color for me. Now the whole palette, from what I'm seeing here is matte. Whole palette. I will do a review of this palette on its own here in the coming, coming episodes. Um, maybe on some of the other stuff I got too, but for right now, woo, let's take a peek -sies. And that is what came in our deluxe. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Would you have gotten the deluxe package? Do you like the palette? What do you think of his lipstick formula? I thought this was actually a pretty good, um, mystery box. Because a lot of the stuff in the mystery box, I would not have bought myself. But this lipstick alone just about makes this worth it. Because I really like this lipstick, actually. Like, it feels really, mm, really soft, really liquidy. But it doesn't look super liquidy, if that makes sense. It looks matte, like velvety matte in the mirror and on the camera. Mm, but it's really hydrating, if that makes sense. So I really like this one. Okay guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know, did you guys try his mystery boxes? What did you think? Have you ever tried his Velvet Trap lipstick? Let me know what you, wow. His Velour Liquid lipstick does not like to come off. I'm gonna be upfront about that. Which is kind of the reason I bought it, to go under my masks. Okay guys, leave some comments down below. Remember, be safe, social distancing, wash your hands. 
six feet apart, wear a mask. Okay, be safe. And I mean that, like I know the area I'm in right now is listed at red level infections, which means we're actually really high right now. So just be safe. Okay, thanks. Have a good one. Leave some comments.